What gems did Kanye ever give you, feel me? You know, because I know that. That was hard, just feel in me? the moment, sporadic, like, that be changing his mind every two minutes. So it's like, that was just like, as long as you're around, you better peak game and just figure out that everything need to be at a high level. It don't matter how the shit get done, who it get done with. You got to bring in three, four niggas to help on this, on whether it's the production, whatever the case is, like, he gonna get that bitch done and he gonna make sure that shit is high level. Like that shit just that pace, that 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 was a change of pace for me. Like even from the polo shit. Polo worked at his own pace and was doing a lot of shit. But when I seen Kanye, this nigga uh bringing J John Legend through, I ended up getting like two, three placements on John Legend just from the same Watch the Throne sessions. He bringing Pusha T through. I did some shit called My God with Pusha T. Um just a gang of different shit at one time. He why he he his the real focus was watch the throne. But the nigga uh had, like I said, John Legend, Pusha, Big Shine, all these different artists coming in. I'm just seeing like everything that's going on, just make sure that shit is high level. And well, how much of that shit was recorded in Paris? Man, it's crazy. The niggas in Paris joint was a beat. I just emailed, bro. I used to email him beats all the time, especially before yeah. we met. But he just had that in his email when they went to uh, Paris. And luckily, that was the motherfucking beat he clicked on in that specific moment. But when we was working on Watch the Throne, not one time did I ever hear the niggas in Paris beat or none of that shit. I, it was other joints that him and Hove had recorded to of mine. You know what I mean? And none of them songs ever saw the light of day. I'm in the studio hype. Like, oh, nigga, I got... Both of them niggas on the song, this shit finna go up. None of them songs ever dropped. It was the one beat that I emailed, you know, Damn. and I probably was months prior to them even doing this shit. That yeah. shit was just sitting. Nigga, I know as a producer and, and, and motherfuckers be doing these songs, because I know Kanye will do like a gang of songs, like, you know, Greedo or something like that. And he got all the songs on the beats and the whole thing. You got it in your hard drive. Like, how is it like... How hard is it not to like drop that shit? Cause I know you be want to be like, you know what? I'm about to drop this shit. Yeah, Fuck no, these things. I mean, I'm gonna leak this shit. You, know, you want? I mean, you just want shit to be done, right? And it's like even beyond that, the songs that I don't have is the ones that I'll be like, nigga, like even like talking about how niggas would be like, where Hit Boy at? My, meanwhile, you know, I got you know five, six, seven songs with Jay Z and Beyonce vocals on them, but I don't get them songs. They record them. And they shit and keep all that shit. So I'm just like, it's like, you know, and you can't control if that's going to come out, when it's going to come out. That's like a nigga praying to the to God and just being like, hopefully that, help, hopefully that shit land on the album type shit. Yeah, that's yeah. hard, man. Yeah. That's hard, man.